Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you so much for joining for another video. And this time we're going to be discussing a little bit about some basketball news. So I know I normally cover NFL news, but I'm also going to be expanding to cover more basketball and also more football at the collegiate level as well. So, but you'll also get your regular videos when it comes to the NFL. So no need to worry. Um, that being said, we're going to be talking about Kevin Ollie making a move to the overtime elite league. Now, the former UConn coach, he spent 13 years in the NBA. He also won championship with um, UConn as the head coach. And he's seen some, he knows what success looks like as he's played with some successful athletes. And so he's going to be taking his talents to the overtime elite league. So a little bit about the overtime elite league there um, for some of the top prospects in the country between the ages of 16 to 18. And so this league essentially gives them an opportunity to where they can make money by playing basketball to be six figures, also profit from their likeness, which is a huge hurdle that the current um, format for co collegiate sports has been debating for uh, the longest. So they'll be able to do that in exchange for giving up all of their rights to play any type of college basketball so they won't be able to sign for a team like UConn or Kentucky, Kansas, Duke, and all those great programs. So they will be taking an alternative route to try to reach the NBA. Um, but this is only going to be for some of the top, top players in the country that will be able to really benefit from this. And it seems like they're all going to be located in the same city. That city is undisclosed as of now. But in terms of the players that will be signing there, we'll have to wait a little closer towards the um, high school basketball season to determine which athletes are going to actually be looking to take advantage of that path. But at least they'll have a great mentor like Kevin Ollie there to help them um, in terms of the actual and a little bit more so about well, a little bit more about Kevin Ollie's um, timeline. Um, if you go back to the 1991, that's when he was coming out of high school. Um, he went to high school over in Los Angeles, um, and he played for Crenshaw High South down there in central Los Angeles. Um, he spent four years playing for UConn, in which his final um, season, they lost in the Elite Eight to UCLA, about 102 to 96 was the final score. He played in 124 games, in which if you look at the... <laughs> typical um, span of a college athlete at the um, division one level that you know that actually ends up making it to the NBA they typically don't play 124 games total at a collegiate level but that's pretty impressive there he finished with 619 assists which is fourth in school history averaging five assists per game um, he also earned a degree in communications fast forward to 1996 that's when his NBA career um, well that's when his professional leagues career began as he started off in the minor professional leagues there um, including the Continental Basketball League where he played for Hartford based Connecticut Pride um, and then fast forward to 1997 that's when he made his first NBA debate he made it with the Dallas Mavericks and he also ended up playing some for the um, Orlando Magics that season as well and so you skip forward to the year 2000. After signing a 10-day contract, he ended up signing with the 76ers and Larry Brown, who also, by the way, had Allen Iverson on that team. And he was able to play the reserve role there, coming in about 70 games that season as the 76ers were able to reach the NBA Finals. Fast forward to 2003. Um, he got to play with the Cleveland Cavaliers, so he also got to play with LeBron James. And then in 2009, at the age of 37 years old, he signed with the Oklahoma City Thunders, making that his 12th NBA team, in which he was able to mentor guys like Kevin Durant as well as Russell Westbrook. So these are just some of the key players that he was able to play with. You know, you got Westbrook, Durant, um, LeBron James, Allen I and Allen, I Allen Iverson. Sorry. <laughs> so that is a pretty impressive resume to have to be able to say that I played alongside these guys, you know, so I know what a superstar looks like. I know what it takes to be a superstar. He's just, he was able to play 13 years in the NBA, so he clearly knows what success looks like, and he's clearly been able to coach talent to be able to coach a team to um, a championship at the collegiate level. And so in 2010 is when he retired as a player, and he was brought on by Jim Calhoun to be an assistant at UConn, and he stayed with them. Um, they won their – third um, national championship in 2011 with him as the assistant. And it would be the year 2014 because um, Calhoun retired in 2012. So in 2014 was when Kevin Ollie was able to take UConn 
32 and 8, and they were able to win the championship, knocking out teams such as Villanova, Michigan State, Florida, and also Kentucky. Um, those were the four teams that he was able to knock out, which earned him a nice deal where he got a five years, $16.5 million contract. Um, then you fast forward 2015, following up on that championship season, they were able, they, they had a very disappointing um, season. I mean, they got put out in the NIT with a loss to Arizona State. So that's clearly not what their goals were, but that's okay because sometimes, you know, you lose a lot of talent, so you have to start over. Um, in 2016, UConn was able to um, beat Cincinnati, um, and they were able to win the athletic, the American Athletic Conference um, title, I mean, tournament. And so the Huskies finished 25-11 and 11 after losing to Kansas in the second round in the NCAA tournament. So it looks like, you know, things are moving in the right direction again. Um, so the new athletic director at the time, David Benedict, extended Ollie's contract through 2021. Um, and so starting in 2016, um, they start the year off ranked 18th. But they and they had a highly recruited ranking class that they brought in. So expectations are high. They're thinking, OK, this might be another championship run. Um, but they only ended up losing their first two games of the season to Ragnar and Northeastern. Um, and they were both at home as well. So very disappointing start to that season. Fast forward 2017, UConn finished 16 and 17. They had a lot of injuries that year, I will say. Um, but it was the first losing program in like 30 years. Um, and so, yeah, they ended up um, having four players leave the program. So now you fast forward to 2018, and now the NCAA is starting to inquire the UConn program, um, which when they learned about some potentially, well, they learned about some improper summer workouts. And so now the heat starting to get on Kevin Ollie. They finished 2018, um, I mean, the 2018 season. Um, UConn ended the season with a loss to SMU in the first round of the AAC tournament, and they finished 14 and 18, henceforth their second um, losing season in the span of like 31, 32 years. And so then UConn announced that they were going to start disciplinary procedures to fire Ollie um, to have just cause so that way they can essentially not have to pay him the roughly $10 million in salary that was due to him on the remainder of his contract. So they wanted to get out of that contract. Kevin Ollie, he ended up fighting that decision, um, taking it to court and trying to sue to get the 10 million back in his salary, which was owed to him. And that is the latest, uh, that has been the timeline that we've had of Kevin Ollie up until this point now, where he's going to be taking his talents to the overtime elite. So yeah, we're going to have to wait to see which athletes choose to um, actually go play there. I'm interested to see what city are they going to choose to have these players located in, because obviously you're going to want to put them in a place where they're going to be able to focus purely on, I shouldn't say pure, pure, um, purely on basketball, but be able to have the resources available to them to play basketball, which won't be a problem. Um, but at least they know that they have a guy like Kevin Ollie who's been, who's been there. He's been a part of the roster. He knows what it's like to play with superstars. He knows what it is to coach big time players. He knows what it is to what it means to win and what it's going to take for them to develop. And so I believe that's why he took that position here so that we can help develop these guys and provide um, a path for them to also reach the NBA, although not a traditional route, but definitely a route that we'll have to see how it works out for each player that does decide to do to take this route. Something that I'm excited to monitor and I'll keep an eye on as always, um, though I really appreciate you checking out this video. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm excited to see what happens um, next. And as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. Now it's not just NFL news, it's also <laughs> some basketball news as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great start to your week and see you guys next time.